This is a video Don construction project video. <coughs> it concerns the creation of a new stand for a saw. It begins with the analysis of the existing saw stand by Guy McLaughlin. Here he looks at how the internal construction was done of the sliders that are going to hold the drawers that are going to be in the stand. Here's an example of one of the drawers with the sliders attached removed from the stand. Here's another view showing one of the drawers. This is an example showing the top of the uh, stand. Here's another view of the whole stand. Um, by taking the top off, you can look down and see how the sliders are arranged. They're arranged on both sides so that you can hold the drawers. There's more detail showing how the construction is done at the back end. The stand is created with rollers on it so it can be moved around. These are casters. Here shows how uh, we have fastened uh, the sliders. Now let's begin the construction of the new stand. It begins with creation of the frame. Here you can see the frame sitting on the workbench. The next step is to add the casters to the bottom of the frame. Here now is a frame with the casters sitting upright. The next step would be to add the holders for the sliders on the frame. Uh, the frame is glued into place. Uh, actually the drawer is glued. Here's an example of a finished drawer without the sliders attached yet. This shows uh, how big the drawers are relative to the stand. Uh, additional drawers are made in a similar fashion and a uh, painting process occurs. It's a two-step painting process with light and dark green. This is their traditional uh, colors for the stands in this workshop. As you can see the drawers have the light green on them as it does the workbench in the background. Uh, here you can see all f of the drawers have been painted. The next step is to paint the uh, outer part, the dark green. This shows how the uh, slides have been attached uh, to the framework. More detailed uh, view of that. Here is how the sliders are attached to the drawers. Uh, a better perspective showing this uh, mounting onto the drawer is shown here. And then we have our, our finished uh, product. Um, you can see the handles are also attached. This gives a detailed view of the handles and uh, how they uh, age over time. And here's the summary of what we have. Next we'll have a video. There, we got the new thing all set in position here, and I put the handles on it so it's easy to pull the thing out and place it back and forth if I need to. But what's this? We got a big gap in here. That's because the floor is uneven down here, so I got a cure for that. So the, the floor slopes away to drain the water, so I took a piece of board here that's about the right thickness and I figured from the gap here and what I would have to lift up underneath the other corner to make it come out level so I'll just pull this thing out of here and we'll put it in place. That way I can take and move the thing around where I'm going to work if I got a large piece or I got something I want to do. There, how's that? Now we got an even fit along the place. So that looks pretty good. I got an outlet there for it. Good light and stuff here so I can work. But if I want to uh, 
do a lot of things or I got a big piece where I can take either one of these two and wheel them out. Now we will show you the spiral saw blade. Uh, this is a new feature that was added. It allows for uh, cutting in multi directions without having to turn the object that is being sawed. This is provided by Guy, to Guy from his brother Paul, who also has one of these blades. Uh, here's some details of that, and then following that, we'll give a demonstration of how you would use this blade. Yeah, we'll take a little movie of uh, this uh, spiral cut blade that uh, Paul sent me there. It'll cut in, in any direction. Turn the blade around. There, we'll take you, uh, give you a little demonstration of how these spiral blades cut through here. turn in the board. If I had a big long board that wouldn't swing underneath there, I could cut and do what I wanted to do with it. So that'll give you an idea of what these spiral blades will do. I hope you've enjoyed this project. This is the first example of uh, narration uh, on Movie Maker 2, which is uh, the tool that has been used for this. This is another Video Don uh, production. Thanks again for paying attention.